Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at this ProPride 3P weight distribution hitch with sway control. Now this is a premium weight distribution system. Uh, you can see I've got it set up on my uh, trailer display here, but the black powder coat portion is the 3P. Uh, so this is going to function very similar to most weight distribution systems. So I'm gonna cover that here in a few moments. But where this really stands out is in its sway control capability. So unlike most of your weight distribution systems that have sway control, they typically use friction to help try and keep the, the trailer in line. So you'll have your spring bars like we have here, and they'll just be sitting on uh, a steel platform. So they're relying on that steel on steel friction uh, to create that sway control. And that's gonna work up to a certain point uh, to help keep your trailer in line. But if you have really big gusts of wind, a uh, tractor trailer comes by, something big like that, it can oftentimes overtax that friction uh, capabilities. So that's where this system is really gonna stand out. It doesn't use friction, it uses what they call a pivot point projection. That's the three Ps in the name. And so what that means is they're gonna, gonna have this yoke here that's attached to the trailer, and that is isolating any movement from our hitch ball. So rather than having uh, the pivot point here on our hitch ball, we're going to have these two three quarter inch uh, tabs that are going to rotate back and forth. And that's essentially simulating the pivot point being up at our rear axle on our vehicle. So it's gonna ride a lot more like a fifth wheel trailer or a gooseneck trailer that sits in the back of your truck. So it's going to come back into line very easily. It's gonna be very, very smooth for you. We actually installed one of these on one of our trailers here at the shop. We took it out on the highway. It was raining that day, so we figured it would give us a good idea of the, the situations that you'll often find yourselves in. So as we're going down the highway at highway speeds with the rain coming down, we tried to simulate a really sharp turn as if you know a deer had run out into the road or something like that. We were blown away by how well this handles. It brought the trailer right back into line. It's really in a class of its own. So if you're familiar with the concept of moving that pivot point forward for a, a weight distribution hitch, you've probably heard of the uh, Hensley hitch. Uh, the Hensley Arrow is a, uh, a hitch that's been on the market for a while, very, very popular. It uses very similar technology uh, as this one, and there's a good reason for that. It's because uh, Jim Hensley uh, designed the original Hensley Arrow hitch, and he also designed this hitch. Uh, so he moved to ProPride to uh, improve the Hensley hitch. Uh, so this is kind of the new and improved version of that hitch. It's gonna use very similar technology to simulate that pivot point being further up, but then it's gonna have some improvements that he's wanted to make over the years. So, like I said, uh, the weight distribution side of this is going to function on the same basic principles as most weight distribution systems. Uh, so, rather than having all of your weight pushing down on uh, your ball, it's going to provide uh, attachment points at the back side to kind of uh, lift that up so that your weight is being distributed evenly across all the axles of your trailer and your tow vehicle. That's going to eliminate that sag that you sometimes get uh, in your tow vehicle when you have too much weight on that hitch ball, which can oftentimes bring up your front end, making your headlights shine into other driver's eyes, kind of making your steering light and uh, wearing unevenly on your tires. This is gonna help correct all those issues by leveling that all out and distributing that weight. Some areas where this uh, has unique features over other weight distribution systems, this is going to be a lot more convenient because with most waste, weight distribution systems, uh, when you disconnect from your uh, tow vehicle, you're gonna have to take basically the whole system off. You'll have some brackets uh, that are mounted onto the frame, but your spring bars and your head assembly and everything is gonna be taken off. So that's a lot of weight. Uh, it's kind of big and bulky to have to work with. This system, almost everything is gonna stay on your trailer frame. So you've got these pins here that you'll remove. They do include this wrench so that you can turn these uh, over center latches. Now I've got these very loosely installed right now just for demonstration purposes. You'll need to uh, tighten those down a lot more than I had them to actually travel. 
Uh, but once you have your trailer tires chalked, uh, you'll keep this portion in your uh, hitch on your vehicle, your receiver tube. And then as you pull forward, this is your hitch bar assembly. This is what's going to uh, stay on your vehicle until you remove it and store it away. So the rest of this is actually going to stay on your trailer. So uh, while this does weigh about 50 pounds, so it's not super light, it is gonna be much lighter than a whole weight distribution system, uh, much easier to store away. So with having that, the rest of that uh, system staying in place, it's gonna be very convenient for you. Um, they do offer some covers uh, that will cover the head assembly and your jacks there uh, to help protect against weather and that sort of thing as your trailer is sitting out. I'll just slide those over. Uh, those are sold separately. But you can find them using the part number that you see on the screen there. Uh, so that's just gonna be one way that this stands out from other weight distribution systems in that it's convenient to, uh, to keep stored on your trailer. Another big thing for me, most weight distribution systems, they have these spring bars and then you have a bracket here on your trailer frame. So the way to get the spring bars engaged, uh, you'll either have to use a pry bar basically to kind of lift the, the spring bar up onto that steel platform or they use chains and a rotation device. So you'll get the uh, chain in the proper link and then you'll again have to use a big bar to kind of uh, pull that back, use a lot of torque uh, to get that locked in place. This system is gonna be extremely simple. You've just got these twists at the top here that control your tension on your spring bar. So you just twist those to the point that you want it to be. And then you install that clip and you're ready to go. So that's gonna be a lot more simple than uh, those other systems. Another benefit to this, um, a lot of those systems that use friction for sway control with that steel on steel um, friction, uh, those are gonna be super loud with all that uh, movement happening. Uh, these are gonna be a lot more quiet for you. Uh, so it's gonna be nice and smooth and quiet and very convenient uh, to get set up and uh, adjust. This does have a bolt on design. So you can see we've got these U-bolts here. So rather than having to uh, drill into our frame on our trailer, we'll be able to use those U-bolts um, to get it connected. This will fit for trailer frames that are up to eight inches tall. Now, uh, most applications, you're not gonna have to drill at all. For a few applications, if you have a uh, propane tray that's welded onto your trailer frame, right where this yoke needs to mount, you might have to drill a few holes uh, to get this mounted, but in most situations, you won't have to do any drilling, so that'll keep our uh, trailer frame intact, give us that uh, stability that we're looking for. This does come with a two and five sixteenth inch hitch ball pre-installed, so we're not gonna have to worry about torquing that down. Uh, you can't really see it right now because I've got my coupler on there, but it'll be very easy to just mount your standard two and five sixteenth inch uh, trailer coupler in place on that ball. We do have uh, several different models to accommodate different uh, hitch receivers for your vehicles, uh, different spring bars to accommodate different weights of trailer. Uh, so I've got a couple of examples here. Basically the whole system is the same, except if you've got a three inch hitch, you've got that receiver side of uh, your hitch bar assembly. Uh, if you've got a uh, two inch hitch, you've got that. And this is our two and a half inch. Uh, so depending on what you need for your tow vehicle and for your trailer, uh, we've got the two inch uh, receiver option for 10,000 pound trailers and a 1,000 pound uh, tongue weight. We've got the two inch receiver for 14,000 pound uh, gross towing weight and uh, two and a half inch for 10,000, two and a half inch for uh, 14,000, as well as three inch for 14,000. So you can see all those options on the screen there. So just make sure that you're getting the one that's gonna work best for your tow vehicle uh, and also your trailer uh, weight capacity. Of course, you do wanna make sure that your uh, hitch receiver is 
rated for use with weight distribution. You don't want to overtax it, uh, so you do want to make sure that it is uh, rated for weight distribution. Our shank here, they're all going to be the same uh, size, this uh, receiver portion, uh, the distance here. So our overall, uh, from our length, from our receiver side of the hitch bar assembly is going to be 12 and one quarter of an inch long. From our hitch pin hole back, it's going to be right at three and three eighths of an inch. So make sure that's going to work for your hitch. As you can see, we do have the adjustments on the uh, hitch side here. And so we can use it in the rise position like we have it here, or we can turn this portion over and use it in the drop position. So that's going to accommodate lots of different trailer heights to make sure that our trailer is staying level. So uh, the max rise that we have from the inside top edge of our receiver tube up to where our coupler is gonna sit, uh, the max rise is going to be three and a half inches. If we were to flip this over, the max drop would be seven and a half inches. So again, it's going to accommodate a wide range of those trailer heights. If we zoom in on the top portion here, this is going to be our tilt feature. This is gonna provide our weight distribution uh, and uh, help keep our hitch head in a level position. Uh, so that's going to uh, be like a one-time set thing uh, for your vehicle. If you were to change vehicles uh, or change trailers, put this on a different trailer, you might have to change that. But as long as you're using the same setup, uh, you'll only have to get that set once and then that will give you your proper tilt. This is a nice solid steel construction. It's gonna hold up really well. It's made here in the USA so you can trust made to the high quality standards that we've come to know and trust for products that are made here in the US. Uh, this is a really nice system. Uh, if you're looking at a good, better, best kind of scenario, this is gonna be your best by far, especially with that weight or the sway control. Uh, that's kind of in a class all on its own, like I said. Um, this does come with a lifetime warranty, so if you were to have any problems with it, you're more than welcome to reach out to us, but I really don't think you're gonna have any problems. I think you're gonna be blown away with the way this keeps your trailer in line and uh, reduces that sway. So that's going to complete our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.